Hey guys, so this is what I want to put <clears throat> across the the thing for my kayak or for the stabilizer. I want to adapt this on there and this was originally like I said a sliding door um, frame which is no longer in use and I'm going to hit it up with so I can clean it up and then um, let me see if the paint comes off with this. If not, then I'm gonna have to be um, I think all it's doing is cleaning it up actually. I don't see the paint is coming off at all. No, it's not. Look, all it is is cleaning it up. So I think that's what I'm gonna do is clean it up and then uh, spray paint it black. I also went to the deep and I wanted to see if they had end caps where I could put on this. This has the other side has the, the sharp edge, and they told me no, they don't. They don't carry stuff like that there. So I think I'm just gonna clean it off and just clean it off and just spray paint it black. All right, guys. So I'm gonna. Go ahead and use my both hands and do, finish this. My little helper. <laughs> so I'm wetting it first and then I'm hitting it up with the brittle pad. I bought another one just in case I need it, but I think I don't need it. So I spoke to the guy and I sent him the picture of my kayak and he said it's going to be like $30 to get the cross members and uh, the kit so I could put it together, which is not, it's not expensive if, I, if you look at it. I got everything for $30, but he didn't tell me how much the shipping is going to be. And this, I have it for free. I got the aluminum already for my, for my kayak. I also got something that looks like an L bracket, which... I'm going to post it together and you guys can see what I got. A little elbow grease and I think that I'll be able to use this. Even though my elbows are not what they used to be before. <laughs> but this is the part where the paint is already coming off and I'm going to have to just hit it up with spray paint because I don't want to sit here and, and sand this and I, I tried to do it with uh, my drill but it didn't work. It never came off. All I did was polish it up a little bit and I have one of those wire brushes that screw. Hey! She opened the door. Give me a second. Okay, so with what I have, I think I spent like $21 on the two aluminum pieces, a couple screws and uh, something that looks like a little L bracket. It's also made out of aluminum, which I have to cut myself and also drill holes into it so I can put it in the kayak. I know if I put acetone, this cool uh, I could take the paint off of it and clean it up properly and maybe I'll do that uh, maybe I'll, I'll get some acetone and take this off and the one the acetone that I have actually is my mom's my brother works on boats and he works with acetone so he gets her acetone which is a lot stronger than the one that they sell to remove your nail polish look this is you could tell that this was from this is the screen from the sliding door. My other little helper. Hi, Parker dear. Huh, you're my helper. You wanna help me? 
Don't lick that. I don't want you getting diarrhea now. I think I already scrubbed the side. So let me wash it. Hey, don't drink that water. You got clean water. <laughs> And there goes my helper. Here's the other part right here. And I'm just gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna hit them up with that black spray paint. So I was thinking, should I paint it yellow or should I paint it like an olive green like my kayak? And I thought, no, it would be better if I paint it um, black. So that's what I'm gonna go for. It's a flat black. And right there, crack this wall. So I don't know if I should cut them even need a cut right around here. Both of them. So I can get that out of the way. Alright guys, so there's the pieces I'm gonna be adding to the thing. To the stabilizer. So I took a brittle pad and I tried to clean it off. I don't know if I take sandpaper, all this will come off, but I really don't want to sit here and, and sand this. So what I'm doing is just taking the brittle pad and scuffing it up, cleaning it up also. And I'll spray paint it tomorrow when it's completely dry. So let me work on the other one now. So now, I'm spray paint it black. I think I gotta set my gloss on it, not flat black. Hey, 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 stop being nosy. Looks good. I think I still have to get it right there. Right here. the one I just finished spray painting and here's the one that needs it right now. So let me spray paint it and set it out to dry and maybe I could do it today.
Let me get this side now. Okay, so here's the one that's drying right now. It is flat, black. It's not, it has no gloss on it, and I think it came out nice. Now I'm waiting here. I think I will have to touch it up, like right there, because I put my finger and it was still a little wet. So now my finger has paint on it. Alright, so I'm going to finish the other one now. Okay, so here's the other one. So I did both of them already. <laughs> and I really got paint on me. So then, all I need to do now is drill and place it on that so I'm going to let it dry for a little bit take the two things apart bring them in and screw them drill them drill them not screw them drill them <laughs> all right guys I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done all right guys so this is how take it apart to put the rest of the pieces on but this is the way I'm going to store it already just like this I think it came out nice it's very sturdy I still have to tighten them down some because Now I see why they use oak and not pine. Yep. 